Hello, my wonderful Virgos. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Very interesting, guys. Your first card is true love. Okay, so this is in the category of energy, and it is also the number four. I see more stability, you know, if you're inquiring about a person or a situation, whether it's just your love life in general, I see more stability <clears throat> introducing itself into your love life here, okay? I feel like someone is really admiring you at this time, and it's not just about, like, physical beauty, it's something internal. I'm being, you know, drawn to the background behind her there, and it's almost like, it reminds me of the word infinity, so it's like, you know, this person may feel like the possibilities are absolutely endless with what both of you can attain here. It's someone who is dreaming a lot about you or there's some sort of like um, like fantasizing going on as well is what I'm picking up on. But they admire you is what I see here, okay? <clears throat> Let's see. Alrighty, my apologies, guys. All right, let's see. Okay, and then we have the card number five. So something could be happening one after the other. Interesting. So in the category of cycles, we have uh, transformation. So this could be a bond that is undergoing some sort of, you know, large transformation here. Um, this could be individual transformation as well, like you going through a very transformative period as well as your person. But here's what I see. This has to be, you know, someone who has history with you because I'm being drawn to the bridge there and it seems that, you, you know, the bridge is pretty long. So it's someone that you guys have been on some sort of journey with. Maybe it was, you know, continuous cycles, you know, repetitive cycles. And it's interesting because now things are going to be transforming in terms of like overcoming an obstacle. The fives talk about change, but they also talk about obstacles. So you're able to, you know, kind of like um, overcome a hurdle that was placed here. Um, you know, and, and it speaks about the both of you because the middle cards are the mutual energy. It's almost like a creative energy, like wanting to create something new, but also like, like the change seems to be more internal is what I'm picking up on. So someone realizing something, someone realizing their emotions for you or someone realizing what they actually desire from this commitment here, this connection. And we have another five so you guys could be seeing triple fives okay um which again is symbolic for change but this um card says fear so it could be a fear of change you know wanting to take a leap of faith here wanting to um you know have a brand new start but kind of more concerned about the outcome concerned about are things going to work out this time around right um someone could be lacking a bit of hope at this time or they're trying their best to like build courage but there's some sort of like intimidation or fear factor here very grateful for you is what i see okay king of swords four of swords so this is someone who is healing right now <clears throat> and they want to come out of a period of separation in order to bring forward some sort of truth. Um, King of Swords can also let me know that this is someone you've already cut ties with or this is what you're thinking about, especially if there's dishonesty here. But with the Four of Swords, it's almost like maybe sometimes you guys speak, um, on, you know, days on end and other days um, or, or you guys go like days or weeks without speaking to each other also. So it's like trying to find that healthy balance or that healthy medium I want to be truthful with you five of swords in reverse yeah very tired of like inner conflict very tired of arguments like that sort of thing it's someone who wants to offer you you know something like a, a form of clarity here but again they're trying to avoid any sense of conflict any sense of um you know, argumentative energy here, but it could also be that this, you know, swords talk about a mental energy, so it could be like an inner conflict, something that's going on within your person. The 
Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Yeah, again, a lot of attraction here. And with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, this person is upset for how things transpired in the past. This could be someone who feels like they're realizing things when it's too late or they should have realized things like sooner. Like maybe there was something you pointed out to this person, right? Um, maybe it's something within their self. It doesn't always have to be you because with the true love card, it could be someone who's coming to their senses, who's realizing, you know, how much they feel for you, how attracted they are to you and what they want from this connection. But it's someone who was pro possibly slow moving in the past because with the seven of pentacles in reverse, it talks about analyzing things when it's too late or feeling that things did not work out in your favor okay high priestess in reverse yeah they want to be truthful with you because high priestess in reverse talks about revealing some sort of secret something that they've kept kept hidden here chariot in reverse so how you guys, uh, or how you would know who this is, Virgo, is like essentially things came to a halt without any proper explanation here. And also, while you guys may not be speaking to this person or you are speaking to them, but it's inconsistent, again, you guys are undergoing some sort of transformation. Like you may find out that this person has relocated or they found a new job or there's some sort of massive change that took place during the time of you guys being um, in separation or inconsistent with each other. Because it's because you don't, it seems that they're going to come in to tell you what changed. So it's almost like maybe you guys are not communicating right now, right? Or it's on surface level. But I see like a lot of internal changes, like changes in their personal life. And again, you could be going through changes as well because, again, the middle cards are the mutual energy. Some of you may be involved with the Cancer. We do have the Star as well as the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. So some of you may be involved with an Aquarius, but what I see with the Ten of Wands in reverse is someone who's unable to let go of you, Virgo. Ten, Ten of Wands upright talks about feeling burdened by something and letting go of it or releasing control because you feel like there's nothing left to do. But Ten of Wands in reverse is the opposite, right? Feeling that there is something you can do about a situation or you know that this situation is not meant to end like this. It's a, it's a sense of feeling that there's unfinished business here. Look at this, guys. You know, with the fear card, she's like trying to step off the cliff there, but she's like very scared. The fool card is essentially like the same image, but for you guys, it's in reverse. So usually the fool in reverse talks about fear as well. So double confirmation here that your person is very nervous to speak to you. They're very... Um, like they're really contemplating the outcome of a situation. So as much as they want to um, speak to you or they want to bring something to the forefront here, they're, they're really um, afraid of your reaction or how you will receive what they will say. So even if they don't feel like you're going to be angry or, or you're, you're going to you know, have an aggressive response, it's something about like you walking away or you saying like, yeah, you know, I understand, but I don't want any parts here. Pretty much fearing your rejection is what I'm, what I'm sensing here. That seems to be like the hidden fear or their biggest fear at this time, Virgo. So double confirmation, you know, this person is feeling very nervous. When they think about the situation, there's a lot of worry. Um, they tend to feel very anxious about the situation as well. I'm also being drawn to the bat there on the seven of pentacles. Um, and it reminds me of the hanged man. So it's almost like your person could be stuck in like, um, you know, what they call analysis paralysis, like thinking about a situation a lot, but not necessarily doing anything about it because it's almost like thinking about it so much to the point where you're over analyzing every single detail. And this person just, they feel like if you rejected them, it would really hurt them. Cause those two cards obviously talk about a fear of a new beginning, fear of change. You know, anticipating change, wanting change. Yeah, guys. Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords. They they want to bring forward some sort of truth, but they're very trapped in their mind about it. It's like, okay, I know right from wrong. I need to bring forward some sort of clarity to Virgo, but I don't know how to say it, or I don't know how Virgo will receive this. Like, they're very stressed out about it is the best way for me to um, explain that energy. Okay, Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Wands. Eight of Swords want to come out again. Yeah, very stressed out. And like, there's also something about you that makes this person very nervous. Like, you may know a lot about this person that other people don't, or you know, like, the real them. Like, there's some sort of like 
um, can like the connection that you guys share, they feel like they don't share this connection elsewhere or with anyone else. <clears throat> I do see this person craving intimacy or like um, your physical affection here because there's a lot of attraction. Again, another card of worry, guys. Nine of swords and then with the wheel. The main thing they're worried about is change. Some of you may be involved uh, with a fixed sign here, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or a Taurus. But as far as the wheel goes, it is someone who is desiring change or they're like... The wheel could be like a card of like a detour, right? Like a roadblock or something, an obstacle placed, right? In, in your path in hopes that you will finally make a decision. So your person feels very pressured at this time. Um, and again, I'm not saying that the pressure is coming from you, Virgo. I just feel like it's something they're placing on their self. Like I need to do something about this, but like, what do I do? You know, um, and then with the change card here, I want change. I want to manifest a new beginning. But are things really over? right or are we going to be able to rekindle this like there's a lot of fear as to how you will respond not to sound too repetitive here let's see if we can see uh, or find out what exactly they are stressed out about eight of swords the star so what there's here, here's the message I'm getting from this. This is someone who feels hopeless right now, where they're having a hard time having faith that things will work out in their favor. Because when you, when you clarify the eight of swords and the star comes out, the star is actually a positive energy. It talks about healing, right? So what I see here is your person feeling that they don't have the ability to heal this connection, right? It could just be a mindset, could just be what they're telling themselves. But Again, they're just fearing that what they say will not be enough to rekindle this flame here or, uh, you know, solve the issues at hand. Let's see. Uh, the chariot. So, so, you know, ultimately what they're very stressed out about is if things don't go, out, go in their favor or if you guys are not able to come together because that's what they're desiring here. But it's also someone who's very stressed out because with that seven of pentacles in reverse, it's like, am I, am I too late? You know, am I apologizing when it's too late? Or am I realizing things when it's too late? Like this person's very hard on their self right now is what I see. Four of wands. Wow. Sagittarius pulled this card as well. You may have Sagittarius placements in your chart or you're involved with one, but it doesn't have to be, guys. So with the chariot in reverse here, with uh, clarifying, clarified by the four of wands, it's someone who wants to reconcile with you, Virgo. Like it's someone who wants to come together, um, you know, and you'll know who this is because, or how you will know who this is. They will be coming out of a period of separation or this is someone where the relationship just came to like a halt with that chariot in reverse like it just stopped out of nowhere maybe no proper explanation here um but with the four of wands you know their wish here is to come together this is definitely someone you had high hopes for i will say that guys um because you know with the four of wands in the in the mutual energy you know maybe you wanted a commitment maybe you wanted marriage right it's someone you definitely had high hopes for like you had a lot of um you know uh desires when it came to this bond here The moon, yeah, this is what's hidden from you, Virgo, the fact that this person wants to reconcile. Some of you would probably be surprised because, again, I feel like you're either not communicating with this person or they're doing a good job at, like, playing it cool or, like, not showing their emotions to you because the moon does talk about hidden emotions. You know, someone who may even have, like, a poker face or they're very hard to read at this time. But behind that, um, four of wands, again, very upset that things um, are not consistent between the both of you, wanting reconciliation, wanting to come together. They see you as like an ideal partner as well. The moon. Like it seems to be very potent here. I'm getting a very specific message, so only take it if it resonates. But if you guys were intimate with this person, you may have, you know, initially actually felt some sort of energy exchange. You know, that automatically happens when you're intimate with anyone. But this this time around, it, it would have been very strong because I'm getting something about like your like um, the intimacy here, essentially. Uh, the fool in reverse. So what's the fear then? Some of you may be involved with the Pisces. 
four of pentacles in reverse. They can't let go of you. That's that's the issue here. And it's someone who is like holding on to this connection because they want to do something about it. But what I see is a lot of fear surrounding like um, the action oriented card here. Again, I feel like this is someone who doesn't like it's. It's someone who's trying to let go of the fear, okay? But we have two cards of fear and one card of letting go of the fear. So you see what I'm saying, Virgo? Like the, the fear is still very predominant here. Let's see. Wow, the Empress as your closing card. Yeah, they see a lot of growth here, guys. Like, um, some of you could have, like, if you weren't speaking to this person for a while, you could have went through, like, a major, like, uh, you know, what they call a glow up or, like, again, a transformation. And they're really seeing you, you know, flourish or in your element. But, again, this person sees a lot of growth here. When you have the Four of Wands as well as the Empress, it's someone who wants to be in a higher level of commitment with you because they see the potential, right? They see what you guys can actually, you know, um, attain together. They see the happiness, and how else they view you um, is that you are not willing to do something about this right now. Because the Empress is someone who's on the receiving end. So how they view you is someone who is not getting off your throne. You're not really doing much about the situation. And that's why they feel like they need to actively do something. Right? Um, some of you feel like you, you know, you've tried, but you're at a point of like, like you've done a lot of healing, Virgo. Like the Empress is like, you know, um, it's it's all the she's pretty much all the queens in the deck right? So what does that mean? Like she's been through pretty much everything under the sun and she's at a point where she's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to sit back. I know my worth and I'm on the receiving end, right? So again, very unexpected here. Um, yeah. Eight of pentacles, king of cups. They want to work on this Virgo. Like they want to put forward the practical effort. This is someone who's actively learning about like your love language. They're very, um, uh, what's the word? Attentive, you know, to your needs at this time or what you desire from this connection. Ace of pentacles, guys. Talks about a brand new offer. I will say it's going to take every single thing out of your person to come forward because there's a lot of fear here, but they're not letting their fear like um, overrule their emotions for you. The sun could be a Leo, but just a lot of optimism in the future here. This is what they want. They want to attain, you know, um, happiness with you. They want to pursue you right? It's someone who doesn't want to view you as a missed opportunity is essentially what I see here, guys. Okay. So my beautiful Virgos, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.